Seasoning fish. What to do with fish when we come home? It is super easy. What to do with fresh herbs, even when they're dry? Also, two things in one short video. Seasoning and using our beautiful herbs. All we need is fresh herb, pepper, and olive oil. That's it. All of your different kinds of fish can be seasoned like this. Check it out. This is some white fish that came from the market today. And I added some dill to one container, some rosemary to the other, and some thyme to the other. I wanted to show you that no matter which herb you choose, if the fish is fresh, it's going to be delicious, aromatic, beautiful, like in the best restaurants of the world. Place your fish fillets, add your herbs, a little bit of pepper and olive oil. Refrigerate them and you'll see that your refrigerator is going to smell delicious, unlike some people that don't like, don't like to have fish because they say it smells. Check it out, olive oil, and you just leave it in the refrigerator until you're ready to bake it or cook it on a pan. That's it. If you want to freeze them, freeze the fillets that are thicker than half an inch. The very thin fillets don't defrost very well. You can use them like this today or tomorrow. The olive oil and the herb are going to keep them perfectly fresh. Check this salmon. It's tender, beautiful, and delicious. If we're going to cook it right away, we do the same thing. Pepper, herbs, and olive oil. But we add a pinch of salt if we're going to eat it or bake it right then. We add our salt, our herb, our pepper, and our olive oil. Nothing else is needed. That's it. You can make any kind of fish with almost any herb. Try them fresh or partly dry or home dried like I've taught you. And look at that. They're beautiful, tender, cooked through, and moist. Same thing with your white fish. Check this out. For some people, fish have a strong flavor. If you leave it in milk for some time, that flavor will be very, very subtle will almost be eliminated. Here, we've added some thinly sliced shallots and some garlic to our herb, pepper, and olive oil. Also, some wine, and then we baked it. 12 minutes later, look at this. Beautiful. At the end, some truffle oil. These are all things you're going to start trying and experimenting with. But the basics are a fresh or dry herb that you dry, pepper, and olive oil. These are going to make amazing meals, like you eat in the best restaurants. Just buy great quality of fresh fish and your herbs. And remember, you can dry them at home in your refrigerator. The link for the herb video will be at the end of this one. Sesame crusted tuna steak. Delicious. For the tuna, that's a red meat, we're gonna sesame crust it. And all we do is add some sesame oil so that the seeds stick, some dark and white sesame seeds, and a little bit of oregano, salt and pepper, and just press your tuna onto this mix, and voila! Beautiful! Cook that, and you're ready to go easy, amazing, and delicious ways to cook fish and use herbs. Shepachi, delicious food, amazing mood. Enjoy! Shepachi, 